for this briefing, Bolton was on the guidance to be here. So were you two blindsided by what occurred today? That he's no longer with the administration? Was it news to you today? Because last night we were told he would be here today. Yeah. I I'm never surprised. <laughs> well, did John well, Bolton fire, like, get fired or did he quit and did he leave the White House because he disagreed with you in particular over talks with the Taliban? So last night the President asked for Ambas Ambassador Bolton's resignation. As I understand it, it was received this morning. The President's entitled to the staff that he wants at, 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 any, at any moment. This is a staff person who works directly for the President of the United States and he, he should have people that he trusts and values and whose uh, efforts and judgments benefit him in delivering American foreign policy. Is it um, now possible to see some uh, less hawkish Iran policy and does this open the path for the President to meet with Rouhani? I would say Secretary Pompeo and myself and the President are completely aligned on our maximum pressure campaign. I think you know we've done more sanctions on Iran than anybody, uh, and it's absolutely working. Now, the President has made clear he, he's happy to take a meeting with no preconditions, but we are maintaining the maximum pressure. Do you foresee a meeting between President Trump and the Iranian leader later this month surrounding the United Nations? Sure. Would the President support that, and do you support that actively? The President's made very clear. He is prepared to meet with no preconditions. Does that go with the 